Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at noon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. West Salem Elementary and Middle School students kicked off their academic year today. And News 8 Now's Allison Fergit was there to capture the excitement of the first day of school morning drop off. Allison? Kids, parents, and teachers all excited for the new school year here in West Salem. There's a lot of energy at West Salem Elementary School today. Kids piling off the school bus with their new backpacks or waving goodbye to the parents that dropped them off. This will be Principal Alex Hubing's second year in the role at West Salem Elementary. He says today is the moment teachers have been waiting for. Anytime we get kids back in the building, there's just so much excitement. You know, the teachers and myself spend time in the summer getting ready for the year, but it's quiet around the building, so it's always great to have that energy back. Hubing says there's a lot to look forward to this year, with some new equipment coming to the school's playground. And despite some first day jitters, students are excited for the new year. Happy best school, everybody! While it was the first day for the district's elementary and middle schoolers, the high schoolers actually started yesterday with a shortened class period. Reporting in West Salem, Allison Fergit, News 8 Now. Allison, thank you. Students in the GET school district head back tomorrow. All right, speaking about heading back tomorrow, they're going to see a little bit of rainfall coming in later on in the afternoon for them over in West Salem. In fact, right now they're at 83 degrees with that heat index of about 89. They'll be picking up by the 2 o'clock hour, 85 degree temperatures and holding on to at least 92 degrees. That will feel on their skin. How about by 5 o'clock if they're still there, 83 degrees for you, and you'll feel like you're about 90 degrees with a little bit of rainfall on the way in the form of showers. For everybody else, though, we have noon all the way to 2 p.m. Storms heading back to the north of I-9. Then we'll see later in the day around 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. You're looking at more of those storms that I just mentioned for La Crosse and other areas to the uh, to the east as well as to the south. Then a 40 to 30 percent chance of showers in the evening hours. Take a look. We've got the orange there. That is still a uh, heat advisory and that continues to about the 7 o'clock hour with uh, again excessive heat down to the south as you can see by Prairie Sheen. When I come back, I'll have a full forecast of how this will all play out for you to give you a look to see how it's going to play out for you into tomorrow as well. So stick around, please. All right, Art, we'll see you later. There are fears of more landslides in Alaska after a slide killed a Public Works employee and injured three others Sunday. The landslide after heavy rains in the city of Ketchikan on the southeastern coast sent 1,100 feet of heavy mud cascading into homes, trees, and power lines. At least four houses were badly damaged and conditions are still unstable. About 60 homes have been ordered to evacuate. And the amount of time that I've lived here in Ketchikan, which has been several decades, I've never seen anything like this. Some residents were allowed to return home, but others are still under those evacuation orders. A federal judge has temporarily blocked a landmark effort by the Biden administration to offer half a million undocumented immigrants who are married to American citizens a path to U.S. citizenship. Natalie Brand reports from Washington. When President Biden announced his executive action in June, he called it a common sense fix for undocumented immigrants married to American citizens. This action is a better way. It doesn't tear families apart while requiring every undocumented spouse to fulfill their obligations under the law. But today, the program is on pause after a federal judge in Texas temporarily blocked it. It followed a lawsuit by 16 states with Republican attorneys general. President Biden's policy allowed unauthorized immigrants to apply for temporary work permits and have deportation protections if they're married to a U.S. citizen and have lived in this country for at least 10 years. They are members of the community contributing both economically and in the job market. So it's an unfortunate setback for them and for the administration. Musafir Shishti is a senior fellow with the Migration Policy Institute. He describes the challenges those spouses had faced under congressional law. They're supposed to leave the country and get their green card from traveling abroad. So that's an obviously a huge inconvenience and separates families. President Biden introduced the policy after a separate executive action he announced to limit asylum seekers at the southern border. That was met by major pushback from progressives. In the absence of congressional action, the border remains a top election issue. We will seal the border, stop the invasion, and launch the largest deportation 
effort in American history. While this latest challenge plays out in the courts, the Department of Homeland Security confirmed Tuesday the agency will continue accepting applications for Biden's spousal policy, but it had stopped approving cases. Natalie Brent, CBS News, Washington. The judge made his order valid for two weeks, but suggested he could extend it. Both sides have until October 10th to file briefs in the case. Back to school tech doesn't have to break the bank. Consumer Reports reveals top budget friendly picks from Chromebooks to printers. We'll show you how to save on that must have gear coming up. Huge selection of rugs and art under the white tent in the Valley View Mall parking lot. Multiple sizes, including brown rugs and so much more. Hurry, don't miss this. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Listen, Eric Hovde, Mr. Fancy California Banker, I earned my retirement, but you said you would absolutely cut Social Security and even raise the retirement age. Now you want to take away our right to vote, Eric Hovde? You're one heck of a jerk. We'll never have my vote. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. Improving your home, improving your life with new entry doors. Few things in your home get the constant use of the entry door. Older entry doors are often hard to open, hard to close, drafty, cold, ugly, insecure, or all of these things, a source of daily misery. Correctly installed entry doors provide a safety and security for your family. They are easy to operate, provide comfort, and say welcome to family and friends. Call or visit the board store for a prompt free estimate. Get more for less today and every day. The board store. When it comes to your business, off is not an option. Off means time and money lost. To move forward and grow, you need to be on. On time, on budget, so you can come out on top. Batteries Plus has the national scale to fulfill all your battery and power needs and a dedicated expert for the local support you want. Power on with Batteries Plus Business. Visit one of our 700 plus stores today. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. Huge selection of rugs and art under the white tent in the Valley View Mall parking lot. Inventory is priced to sell, so stop in today. Hurry, don't miss this. Welcome back. Consumer Reports revealed its picks for the best used cars on CBS Mornings today. That list includes vehicles that are 5 to 10 years old from 26 different car brands. Lexus, Toyota and Mazda topped their rankings of the most reliable used car brands. Consumer Reports surveyed its members about issues with their vehicles, breaking them into major and minor problems. Top picks have to be reliable, safe and perform well in tests when they were new. Yeah, the used car market, it's, it's starting to rebound a little bit. So in the last year, prices have started to come down about 10%, and inventory's up a little bit too compared to the pandemic. And so all that means you're more likely to find the car that you actually want and hopefully pay a you know, more reasonable price for it. The average price for a new car, by the way, right now is about $48,000. Back to school shopping is expensive, especially if a new laptop is on the list. The good news is you don't have to break the bank to get a great computer. Consumer Reports reveals its laptop picks for every budget. With nearly everything costing more these days, Consumer Reports extensive product testing shows you don't have to spend a lot to get quality tech for your student. One of the best options for a tight budget, a Chromebook. They're generally less expensive uh, than Mac and PC laptops. They're not the fastest computers out there, but for kind of everyday stuff, browsing the web, editing documents, that type of thing, you know, school work type of stuff, uh, they're totally fine. This Acer Chromebook is a solid budget choice. It's fast, has a long battery life, and more local storage than most other Chromebooks. If your student needs something that won't weigh down their backpack on a mad dash to class, 
CR says this laptop from Lenovo is an excellent choice for portability, and its ergonomics are near top level. If your student wants an Apple, save a little bit of money and still get a very good Mac laptop. With the 13-inch MacBook Air with the M2 processor. The M2 is Apple's older processor, but CR's experts say the performance difference between the M2 and the newer processor is so small that you might as well save a few bucks by going with the previous model. If your student also needs a color printer, this tank model from Epson uses low-cost bottled ink instead of expensive cartridges. While the overall printing performance isn't strong enough to earn a CR recommendation, the text quality and speed should be fine for printing book reports and whatever else the teacher assigns. This is Marcy Whalen. Consumer Reports also says August and September are the best times to buy a computer because of the sales. When you're shopping, remember to check for student discounts. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here is a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. Drugs, gangs, and crime are flooding into our communities. But instead of getting tough on the border, Senator Tammy Baldwin supported amnesty for 11 million illegal immigrants, including convicted criminals. Criminals like an illegal immigrant with multiple DUI charges who went on to kill a Wisconsin father of three while driving drunk again. Tell Senator Tammy Baldwin no amnesty for illegal immigrants, especially criminals. Vote to secure the border. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically. Paint. Hot Tubs, Hot Tubs, Hot Tubs. The Hot Tub and Pool Expo is at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. This Labor Day weekend only. Truckloads of hot tubs from major brands like Hot Spring and Caldera Hot Tubs. Hot Tubs as low as $79 a month. 0% financing. Save thousands. End of season savings on all above ground pools starting at $140 a month. Swim spas up to $10,000 off. Saunas starting at $59 a month. Hot Tubs, Swim Spas, Saunas, and above ground pools up to 40% off. This weekend only at Hot Springs Spas and Pools in Onalaska. SpaExpoLacrosse.com. My cancer drugs, $1,800 per month. My hospital bill for a heart attack, $241,544.18. I'm Rebecca Cook. My parents are like a lot of folks hit hard by sky-high medical bills. And with hospital closures, access to care is an even greater challenge. So what does Derek Van Orden say? Destroy Badger Care. Gut Medicare. Deny women reproductive care. I'll fight for affordable health care. Derek Van Orden won't. And that's why I approve this message. Go get a money. An alarming rise in the number of heat-related deaths over the past decade to tell you about now. According to a new study published in JAMA, heat was blamed for 412 deaths in the U.S. in 2014 and more than 2,300 last year. The study found a downward trend between 1999 and 2014 before a significant spike over the next nine years. Researchers expect this increase to continue and say local governments in high-risk areas should invest in cooling centers for the public. Eli Lilly says starter doses of the weight loss drug ZetBound are now available in these single dose vials. The company says the move will significantly expand supply as it continues to see high demand. Instead of a preloaded injector pen, patients will use a syringe to draw out their medicine. Terzepatide is the active ingredient in ZetBound and Manjaro and part of a new class of medications used to treat obesity and diabetes that have skyrocketed in popularity. The new vials from Eli Lilly will be available exclusively exclusively to people who pay out of pocket through Lilly Direct. To prevent burnout, doctors should rely on non-physician collaborators to take notes on patients. A study from the University of Maryland found providers who use scribes and other forms of collaboration increase the number of patients they see by 10 percent. Doctors who mostly relied on others decreased the amount of time compiling notes by about 28 percent.
And people who got myocarditis from COVID-19 had more complications than those who got the heart inflammation from mRNA COVID vaccines. French researchers looked at 4,600 patients over an 18-month period. 2% of post-vaccine myocarditis patients needed to be hospitalized for another heart-related issue compared to 7% of those with post-COVID myocarditis. Those were some of the day's top health headlines as we take a live look outside now from CityCam 8. Art is in next with a look at our forecast. Right now, it's the Labor Day sale at Home Furniture. Get up to an extra 10% off sale prices, like this counter table and four chairs for just $999. Or pay no interest for three years during the Labor Day sale, going on now at Home Furniture. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Listen, Eric Hovde and Mr. Fancy California Banker, I earned my retirement, but you said you would absolutely cut Social Security and even raise the retirement age. Now you want to take away our right to vote? Eric Hovde, you're one heck of a jerk will never have my vote. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. Mo, dig, haul, trench. The reliable Kubota BX Series subcompact tractor is highly capable. A smooth hydrostatic transmission makes for easy operation and versatile attachments that help you handle the job. The Kubota BX Series, rated number one in durability and owner experience. Talk to your Kubota dealer to schedule a demo. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls presents Slaughter with Quiet Riot. Feel the noise. An explosive night of live rock and roll. Friday, October 25th. Slaughter with Quiet Riot. $60 tickets include $15 free rewards play. Slaughter and Quiet Riot together. Friday, October 25th, exclusively at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. Right now at Homeworld Rugs, get 15% off area rug sale prices. Discover a stunning array of patterns, sizes, and shapes with expert guidance in every showroom to ensure you find your perfect rug. 15% off area rugs going on now at Homeworld Rugs. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Friday Night Frenzy, Friday at 10 on News 8. Well, good afternoon to you. Here we go again with some of that heat still holding on locally. We're talking orange. That means we're talking moderate. We're also seeing the red and the magenta there. We're also getting into at least major and extreme heat still holding on to our area locally. In fact, if you have a friend, maybe you have them grab a chair for you and sit down and enjoy it while you can with the sunshine out right now before it gets a little too breezy. And of course, we do have the heat advisories that are in play right now in orange. We also have in the magenta there. You're also looking at the possibility of excessive heat coming into the picture again. Again, for folks that are down to the south by Prairie du Chien. Current temperatures holding on to 73 degrees to about 86 degrees out there for La Crosse. Still, the heat is holding on, but it is still starting to pick up as we go into the afternoon. But look at this, though, with all that cooler air and rainfall we've been experiencing, kind of lifting up over for that area of low pressure. We have temperatures that are at least five now to about 12 degrees cooler than we were 24 hours ago. So that should be a little relief. That just made me feel better. I hope it did for you. How about dew points, though? 68 to about 70 degrees to 75 as you get over to Preston. La Crosse holds on to the afternoon with temperatures in the upper 80s, getting to the lower 90s to finish out the day with the of course, a few clouds kind of lingering, so we're looking at partly cloudy skies. We'll go with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies to cloudy conditions over in uh, areas by Eau Claire. And that gets into Lady Smith as well. You notice there's not much rainfall right there, but that is coming. We may see something coming around the 2 o'clock hour possibly for you. We've got that area of low pressure that continues to keep that moisture around. We also have the marginal risk, uh, the slight risk again for severe weather. We have a little juice in the atmosphere like I just showed you with the dew points. And here we go with that rainfall over the last uh, few hours there. You're looking at that rainfall continuing on. We'll get you back to Sky Tracker though, and we'll show you how some of this rainfall gets out of the way pretty quickly. Two o'clock by Ladysmith and Eau Claire, picking that up. And then once we get into the four o'clock hour, you're going to start to see some light sprinkles to showers, maybe moving by La Crosse as well as Prairie du Chien. Then we get the winds changing. We're going to see those winds coming out of the north, northeast, uh, and that's going to slide out, open up some skies with some.
some clearing and then we see some overwhelming clouds coming in the morning as we go into Wednesday. And again, for the afternoon, we're looking at it, maybe a shower, maybe a sprinkle for for us. It's about a 10% chance, right? How about though for Wednesday as we go into six o'clock hour, drier conditions hold on. We start picking up more moisture coming up from the south. Uh, a little bit of extra humidity and we may just kind of bump up temperatures a degree or two as well. We get up to the middle 80s. We'll hold on to the, some of that rainfall starting to coalesce across the Mississippi and working its way up from the south. Prairie du Chien over to La Crosse back to Winona and then into Eau Claire. Storms continue to coalesce right back over areas by Ladysmith and continue to just to wrap around and start pushing back to the east by the time we get into the day to finish out. With rainfall we're expecting not much today, but once we get into the highs for the day, you're looking at 77 to about 91 degrees. So enough to get out and enjoy it. It is so quiet. It's eerily quiet outside. Here's a look at the, uh, the tracker here showing you the heat index. We're going to get up to about 92 degrees. That's how it's going to feel on your skin today. So as I've mentioned, we're going to be seeing going into it with overnight lows holding on to the 60s a lot better than those 70s and 80s we've been experiencing and that air conditioning will roll right into your next eight days holding on to 91 today, 84 tomorrow. As I told you, we're going to bump up the temperatures going up into Thursday. There's your storm activity coming in. You just saw that. 20% chance coming in for Friday and then oh, we start to cool it on down heading on into Labor Day. Get out and enjoy it if you can and have a wonderful week and weekend. Yeah, it might be a good day for the pool, right? The pool. Sounds Everybody good. into the pool. But I do think if I were to get into a warm pool right now, I would just fall oh, straight yeah, asleep, you, right? Yeah, you might as well have a, like a mocha or something. Yeah, huh? I got to get an ice plunge instead. <laughs> Still to come from shark attack survivor to hometown hero and Alabama teens inspiring homecoming after losing her arm. Her remarkable journey just after the break. Refresh your space with a mid-century makeover at Ashley. During the Labor Day sale, discover statement pieces starting at $499.99. Plus, get 0% interest for five years on in-store purchases. No minimum purchase required. Shop more deals in-store and online. Life has become too expensive. Groceries and gas have gotten out of control, and red tape is killing the economy. But fortunately, our Congressman, Derek Van Orden, is fighting for solutions to make living more affordable for us in Wisconsin. He's advocating for common sense bills that would make everyday items like gas and groceries more affordable. Now, Congress has an opportunity to lower costs by cutting red tape. Tell Congressman Van Orden to keep working to lower costs and support the Red Tape Reduction Act. Collector car into cash. Remlinger Collector Car Auctions is now taking consignments for its fall auction on September 27th and 28th in Winona, Minnesota. Visit RemlingerAuctions.com to consign now and maximize your earnings. Early consigners receive the most exposure to our eager pre-qualified bidders. Reserve your spot today and join the excitement. Remlinger Collector Car Auctions, where every car has a story and every bid is an adventure. I'm Eric Covdy, and I approve this message. I was 27 years old, and the doctor told me I have MS. You quickly realize what's the most important things in life, family, friendships, love, helping other people. It makes you much more empathetic and compassionate to those that are struggling and suffering. I wanted to achieve my goals and dreams, but I, I wanted to take my resources and save as many children as I possibly could. Labor Day mattress deals are happening now at Ashley. For a limited time, save up to $1,000 on select mattress purchases. Plus, get 0% interest for five years on in-store purchases. Only at Ashley. The News 8 Plus app. Local news on your time. You expect more. So thank you for watching News 8 Now. An Alabama teenager lost her arm in a shark attack two months ago. Now she's getting adjusted to her new normal with her prosthetic arm. Lulu Gribben returned home this weekend. There she is after spending months in the hospital as she arrived home to cheers and chants of support from a crowd of family, friends and neighbors. Gribben lost her left arm during the June shark attack in Walton County, Florida, and her mother said surgeons had to amputate part of her right leg. Glad she's doing better now. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we come back. Are you in need of a new driveway or parking lot? Call North Central Paving for all your asphalt needs. We specialize in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installation. Call North Central Paving today. 
We know the fentanyl coming from Mexico and China is a threat here in Wisconsin. It's why Tammy Baldwin is working to stop it. And Tammy passed the bipartisan Fend Off Fentanyl Act. It takes on the Mexican cartels and the fentanyl coming from China. And Tammy Baldwin voted 32 times to strengthen our border. 32 times to increase border patrols. And technology to keep illegal drugs out. Because Senator Baldwin knows keeping us safe is her first priority. Tell Tammy Baldwin to keep securing our borders. Improving your home, improving your life with new windows. If you are tired of old windows that don't open or close properly, that are drafty and cold, that are rotting and falling apart, your life can be better. Enjoy comfort, convenience, and peace of mind with new windows. Feel good when your home looks great inside and out. Call or visit the board store for a prompt free estimate. Get more for less today and every day. The board store, 524 Copeland, La Crosse. My son, Nick, took illicit fentanyl, which cost him his life. And knowing that my son is never coming back is the worst thing that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. Tammy Baldwin's been with us every step of the way. She just got a major bill passed to really crack down on fentanyl. She doesn't just talk the talk, but she actually walks the walk. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Tammy Baldwin fighting this fight. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Is your gravel or dirt driveway migrating into your yard? Then it's time to call North Central Paving. Specializing in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installations, North Central Paving can handle all your asphalt needs. Call 608-781-4423 today to get your free estimate. Download the News 8000 app today. Welcome to the party. <laughs> we all make this show together. You guys, this is our show. You just never know who you're going to meet here. Let's make every Wednesday a little brighter. Weekdays at 3 on News 8. All right, we're looking at Labor Day coming around the corner here, right? Six days away. Autumnal Equinox, 25 uh, days away. Halloween on the way to 65 days. And Thanksgiving. <laughs> Had to get that in there. 93 days. What's your favorite? Uh, Christmas, it's not on there. I have to wait though. Sorry for calling yes. out the one you didn't have, right? As soon as Labor Day goes, I will put that on just for <laughs> I'll you. I'll be waiting. Okay, thank you, Art. Bye. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight.